Battlefield 1's beta has come and gone, and with the broader community's first hands-on experience with EA's new game, everyone's wondering, is this new installment worth my time and money? Well, a lot of that obviously is up to personal preference and if you're already invested in the Battlefield franchise, but I think getting time in the beta, which was open to everyone, I think can greatly affect that decision. I want to talk about a few things in this video that are pulling me each way on whether or not I want to get Battlefield 1 on day one. So I'm going to be doing a few videos on my time playing the beta. I want to talk, have one talking about the different classes we were able to touch and the map, the one map and the two modes that we were able to play during the beta. But in this video, I just want to talk about some general thoughts. First off, EA is going in a very different direction with the latest Battlefield installment. Almost all shooters in the past few years have been focused on either present or future day warfare, with Battlefield not being an exception on that. Many people were speculating that Battlefield would be continuing the trend and doing some midway between Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 2142 of some you know, super future warfare. But there are also rumors that they might also be going instead to look, at, look back at the older wars and civilization's history. And this turned out to be true, and Battlefield 1 is looking back and taking on World War 1. I actually really like this, and I think generally speaking, a lot of people are glad that they're taking and going back to something different than the ultra future wall running robots first person shooter. And if that's what you're into, then there's a lot of titles that are still coming out this year that satisfy that genre, like Titanfall 2 and Infinite Warfare. The thought for me, going back to an older time, we could get a different, unique gameplay and possibly some slower gameplay me mechanics. And the question is then, does Battlefield 1 hold up to that assumption? Well, from my time in the beta, yes and no. The, the beta, we, like I said, we were only able to play one map and two game modes, Conquest and Rush. So this is a very, very small fraction of the game that we can speak on at this time. And, but I do feel like the game generally does have a slower pace. There are less vehicles. You're not having a bunch of tanks and motorcycles and jets and stealth bombers and all this stuff all over the uh, game, mo game map. So I did feel like it was much more a boots on the ground shooter, in my experience, and it was a slower pace. But at the same time, I did still feel like it was just a Battlefield game in terms of mechanics, and that's probably a good thing. Those that are diehard Battlefield fans will be able to jump into this game and just learn the intricacies of the new vehicles and weapons that are available. But other than that, I think they'll have a pretty easy time getting used to playing Battlefield 1. Also, since the beta was open to everyone, I initially started playing it on my PC, but I wanted to try it on my Xbox One to compare. And holy crap, there's a difference in graphics, fidelity, and just the way the game feels to me personally on Xbox One compared to PC. Uh, it sounds super PC Master Racy, but I think these games are built for PC in mind. I don't know if that affects your decision. If you've always been playing Battlefield on an Xbox or, or a PS4, uh, or a PlayStation system, this probably won't affect you at all, but I'm really hoping with the PS4 Pro coming out next or November, and then Xbox One Scorpio, rumored to be releasing next year, we're going to get some of that awesomeness right in the middle for console gamers, where they'll be able to experience those graphics fidelity and, and buttery smoothness that you get from a really high-end PC playing these games. Overall, though, I did enjoy the beta. I really like the direction they're taking in the game. I did find myself playing the I didn't find myself playing the beta for hours on end, however, so that's where I'm on the fence of am I picking this game on day one. Um, I liked it, like I said, I like the mechanics, the weapons felt nice, but I'm not sure if it's going to be keeping my attention because it does feel like just another battlefield game. It, the gameplay mechanics are a little bit slower, like I had stated before, but I don't know if that's enough to keep my attention. Um, but maybe that's the point for some people. I'm not sure if I'm sold yet though. I think for me the telling thing is going to be whether or not my friends are going to be picking this game up and investing time into it. Since, in my opinion, Battlefield is definitely one of those games that the experience multiplies tenfold with a full squad of friends taking on the objective. But anyways guys, what did you think of the beta? Are you picking the game up or have you already pre-ordered? Have you cancelled your pre-order after playing the beta? Please, I want to know in the comments, let's have a conversation. So. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And as always, I hope your day is beer and Skittles.